Hello fellow Paleans, welcome to another video. Today we are going on a tour of a haunted, scary, creepy, spooky hooky uh, house plot of a friend of mine's and I'm so excited to tour it for the first time and I wanted to show it to y'all as well and we could all get like to experience it together. And basically, we have to wait until it is actually dark out in order to have the best experience of this plot. So I am currently just waiting for the little ticker in the top right corner to get to the moon and stars section. And then I am able to go over and check it out. And I'm so excited because we can do this together Ooh, Halloween house. Ooh, look at him. He's ready to go. <gasps> I love, I love his attire. Very cozy, yet stylish and elegant. Oh my gosh, look at the fires. <gasps> I love that there is fire behind each of these pumpkins in the front. And also it looks like corn uh, in these. So, or like, you know, I guess wheat. I mean, I'm sure it's wheat, but it kind of looks like corn. And <laughs> I feel like it's very like harvest festival-esque and it's just, it's perfect. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and head this way first. It looks like we have a little, picnic area where you can just sit down have yourself a nice little picnic I love how he used the floating candles and they're just kind of like all over the place and honestly these small torches like this was absolutely um, such a smart way to use those and I love it absolutely love it Okay, I turned off the chat, so it shouldn't be popping up anymore. <laughs> I forgot to do that before I started recording. Um, let's 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 keep going here. I love how he put candles around all these trees. I just it's it just has like such a magical feeling to it. Like look at this, look at this little like alarm clock here i feel like that has to be a makeshift one right i don't have that yet but it just it works perfectly out here and like they used a lot of makeshift furniture pieces what is this oh my goodness i have never seen this robot chopper before it's wow <laughs> It's interesting. It looks like it was made out of like used parts and just kind of like thrown together. Um, like it was refurbished and I think that's super awesome. All right, over. Oh, is this like a a summoning circle? Are we are we summoning ghosts and demons over here? The sound effect of these torches are like so relaxing, isn't it? It's just so, it's so relaxing, I feel. I just, I just wanna stand here and listen to this as like, like a little ASMR type thing while I do some work. <laughs> All right. So we have looked at the front, which is absolutely amazing uh, looking. Very, uh, very fall, very like witchy vibes. Also, this looks like a barn. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh gosh, it they gave it like a, a witchy barn feel to it with the purple. I, you know, I don't even have this purple. Uh, wallpaper and now i really need it Ooh, look at these candles <gasps> basil you have so many items i have yet to get in the game it is incredible 
we could change our clothes here. I already put on my little, my little, uh, harvest dress, I want to call it. This looks very cozy. Just kind of, you could sit by the fire and read yourself a little book or, you know, do a little knitting project. I, I like, I like doing things like that. <laughs> I, I'm I'm basically a grandmother. Let's be real here with the things I like. Oh, I like the pots and pans like that. I haven't seen that either. All right, heading into the bedroom area. It looks like this is where they store their books. Like I know that's kind of the basic stuff that comes in that bookcase, but still, <laughs> it really goes with the vibe. Oh, look at this rug. <gasps> Is this like a bellflower rug and it was just, you know, changed? Like the color has been changed? Also, where the heck did those those candles come from? I feel like that's probably a Shane item. It has to be, right? So they probably come over here and they do some rituals. I love this. This, this is really, really neat. Um, and I also like, the way that the candle, like smoke or heat waves, whatever you want to call it, how they're all going, it just kind of really adds to it, you know? Like, I know that's just a thing in the game, but it really gives this, like, a really good, like, atmospheric vibe. <laughs> if that's the right word. If that's the word you want to want to say. This is very cool. All right, we got a little um, crystal light here from the Moon Collection. I, I forgot the name of it. But I believe they fixed these. Like, they actually glow now, whereas they used to not have that glow when you would, like, turn it on and off. It would just, it would stay the same, like, color. But now it glows, and it's just really pretty. I'm glad that they they changed that. We got some pictures on the walls. I feel like just because of where we are and how this is all set up, these pictures look a lot creepier and spookier than they would, you know, in a regular house, right? Like this, this looks like it looks like I don't know just it, it looks haunted that's a haunted windmill right there and like that's them from a distance and it just it looks very terrifying and I kind of love that Ooh, this is a really pretty one I don't think I've seen this one I also haven't bought a lot of pictures for the walls because they're really expensive and I'm still currently trying to get some other uh, very expensive items, so yeah. We've got that pretty couch. I do love how there is this little rug here to kind of like welcome you into the room and it helps with the, the division of how the, the little dividers are, like to really section off like the bedroom from the living area and the little kitchen. Uh, also, them giving us these pumpkins, I am so happy. Like, I just wanna say thank you to the devs for creating such a wonderful game and putting so much work into it. Oh, I didn't even see a clock over here. That's a really pretty clock. I haven't put that out yet. See, in this, like, witchy, uh, creepy vibe that's going on here is, like, right down my alley as far as aesthetics go. Like, it is just, uh, this is amazing. Look how awesome this is. Like, wow. <laughs> All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video and joining me on this tour of Basil's Halloween House. 
I hope you liked it as much as I did. It was truly a treat for the season. And honestly, I can't wait to see what else Basil comes up with in the upcoming months. Uh, until next time, I will catch you later, y'all. Bye!